Hey everyone, it's Ryan again with The Smart House, and today we've got another quick tips video. This video is related to the video I released early in the week about how to install Android on a Raspberry Pi and use that with an application called TinyCam to be able to dis display your WISE cameras in Home Assistant or another NVR. And if you missed that, uh, I've got a link above here in the cards. So on today's video, I'm gonna take you through a few advanced topics on how to expand the utility of the Raspberry Pi running Android OS. I'm gonna show you how to route the Android operating system on the Raspberry Pi. I'm gonna show you how to install Google Play services in the Google Play Store. And finally, how to expand the drive on the Raspberry Pi to use the full SD card that you've installed on there. So like last time, let's put three minutes on the clock and see if we can beat it. All right, so the first thing we need to do is head out to the developer's website. So if you don't need one of these things, if you don't need the Google Play Store, if you don't need to root the device, go ahead and just ignore that particular step. Don't download that file. We're gonna, grab, we're gonna go ahead and grab all the files in this example and then you don't need to flash that particular file as we go through. So let's go ahead and head out to the developer website. And again, if you need that, it's right here. I've got a short link to it right here below. It's also in the description of the video. All right, so now we're on the website for the developer again. Um, this is this could change sometime in the future if he releases a new version of Lineage OS, um, the version that he made for it. Be sure to check the URL. If there's a new one available, I'm sure he'll update it at the top. So if we scroll down to the bottom, there's a whole section of frequently asked questions. He goes through how to do the root access. So what we need to do is grab, um, the first thing we'll grab is the SU add-on here. And if you're not familiar with Android, the SU is the super user add-on that allows you to request root access if you install it properly. So we'll go ahead and click on here. Um, again, it's gonna send you to Android file host. Let's go ahead and grab that file real quick and we'll save it. And as that's downloading, let's pop back into the, the FAQ. We'll scroll down a little further. And the next one is the resize. So again, uh, he only the image is only seven gigs because that's the minimum required for the Android. If you want to use more of the SD card actually on there to install more applications, go ahead and grab this resize zip here. And then again, we're going to grab that, download it. All right, now that's downloading. And the last thing we're going to do is scroll all the way down here to the bottom where it talks about how to install Google Apps. So again, Google Apps are installed separately because of licensing issues. So we're gonna go ahead and go to OpenG Apps. So we're gonna go, go to that first link there. We're gonna grab the ARM version for Android 11 and click the download here. And it's gonna find the latest and greatest version and then go ahead and download that. It's gonna open this one from SourceForge. So there we go. Now it's grabbing the file. And the next thing you're gonna need is a flash drive. So you'll need to go ahead and copy it from your computer onto the flash drive. And then from there, we'll, um, we'll get it installed on the Android application. So go ahead and copy once they finish downloading, copy all three files to the root of the flash drive. And then from there, we will plug this into the Raspberry Pi and copy them to the root of the Raspberry Pi itself. Android OS, we want to go ahead and pull up from the bottom and then select files. Once we're on there, we want to select our USB disk and then select all the files. You right click on them and copy or you can drag them onto the root of the Raspberry Pi 4. Then click on the Raspberry Pi 4 to confirm that they're there. It may take a minute for the large file like the G apps to copy. Once that's done, then you can go ahead and eject the USB disk. Now you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and bring up the settings by swiping up and clicking settings. Then you wanna scroll down. Then you wanna scroll down to about, and then scroll to the bottom of about tablet and then you'll see build number. If you click on this around eight times, you'll enable development settings. Then you can go back out Scroll to the bottom, select system, click advanced, and then scroll to the bottom of that page and you'll see developer options. Click on that. And then when you're into the screen, you wanna click the search icon and type in advanced, and then select advanced restart. Then select the option here, and then you can back out. Now, when you need to restart the device, you can hold down F5 on the keyboard and it'll bring up the power options. Then you can select restart, and there should be an option there for reboot into recovery or into safe mode. Once the Pi reboots, you'll be sent into recovery. So from here, we need to click and drag to allow, swipe to allow modifications. Then we need to click the install button. And then you'll see the three items that we copied to the root of the SD card. Now you can either grab all these and install them at once by using the add more zips button, or you can install them one at a time. Again, you can skip any ones that you don't need. So the first thing we're gonna do is install G apps. Now this one will take the longest because it is the largest. Now when you get to this screen, you have two options on screen, but we're actually gonna hit the back arrow because we don't want to reboot or wipe the Dalva cache at this time. 
So now you can go ahead and select the other two files and flash them as well. Now when you're finished, go ahead and click the reboot button and then click reboot system and it'll boot back into the normal OS. Now to confirm that the storage has been expanded, you can go ahead and open up settings and go to storage and now you'll notice that the storage is showing 56 gigabytes free instead of five. Now if you want to confirm root is good, go down to systems, settings, advanced, go down to developer options, scroll down, until you see root access, go ahead and tick that box on and then say OK. And this will now enable root access for your system. Finally, if you want to confirm Google Apps and the Google Play Store has been installed, go ahead and swipe up from the bottom and look for the Play Store icon. Of course, you'll need to set this up for your individual account. Well, I guess we didn't make it through that one on time. I'll try better next time. You've now got a more capable Android operating system running on your Raspberry Pi. So you can use this for other things like potentially running some mobile games, running something like Tasker on there, or using it as a development environment. So that's what I'm gonna be using mine for. Primarily is now I can do some Tasker development on there as well. So if you're looking for more quick tips on home animation, click this playlist above. If you would like to let the algorithm select the next video for you, click right here. If you haven't already, click here to subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot and have a great rest of your day.